Hello, Jesus here. I just want to let you all know that Kriparian is the vegan overlord of them all, and that his wife, Rania, is the vegan queen to rule them all. Together they rule over vegan Canada, known also by its nickname Twitch, where their mighty knights Faye and Dexter lay waste under their commands. They have just announced broccoli as super not kosher, as well as appendicitis as Vegan Canada's official pastime. They are all our overlords, and we shall treat them with the utmost respect, the way RNG respects Kriparian. Let his sodium chloride wash over us and pray that Kriparian recovers from the utter fucking failure that was his 2018 Minesweeper game. Seriously, Crip, what the fuck was that Minesweeper game? You literal degenerate. But Vegan Canada loves you, Crip. I hope you love it too. Down here, fish salt all is a day. way of life. Check it, check it, check it. <laughs> Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. Bullshit. I probably just lose. And Hearthstone's like, yo, Crip, fuck you. Here's a loss. Making all in tempo plays when you know your opponent's answers. It's pretty easy to do. Nice. Oh. I am stupid. Whoops. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of 8 and 7 cards, huh? I, I don't think you can play much better than I can in Arena. I mean, this is Sniper Guild right now. He has full control over the game. I, have no, I can't surprise him with anything. I mostly win by taking risks. And he's got me covered on those as well. Drooling noobs. Alright, let me bring up the spreadsheet here. That marks 17 times I've beat Crip. Oh, better luck next time. Well, that's who these people are. They're, they're people who are not very good at very much, so. They spend their. spend. waste their time, I would say. Trying to find some self validation in this world. If that sounds like you, Sniper Guild needs you. The only way I can stop snipers is stop feeding the trolls. No, that's wrong. These are groups of people who spend hours every day preparing decks and communicating with each other to get on my friends list and snipe me through stream delay. Either I'm getting sniped or that was just tragic fucking luck. Yeah, there's not much stopping that. In this world, if you're gonna try really, really hard to be an asshole, you're gonna succeed. You're not an asshole, Mark. You're just trying so hard to be. That's Hunter. The? Gets stupid lucky in the early game, can't lose. That only happens half the time, so. The other half, well. You lose. Bit unlucky for me. One Night in Karazan, aka One Night in Development. Oh! Check this out, guys. Check, check this out. Oh! Oh, did I? Because I'm pretty sure I won. Look at that. Isn't that... It's such, such a nice reminder of yesterday, guys. <laughs> oh my god.
run. After we got like cheated out of our arena run. After that, we logged in, played another arena run, ended with 10 wins. And like today, logging in. Oh yeah! You know, yesterday, you lost because you DC'd. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, man. Fuck, dude. Why you gotta do that? Friendly reminder. Yesterday, you got fucked. Okay. Oh, man, I'm gonna lose this garbage player, dude. Speak your piece. Right. How do I finish this game? How do I win? I just don't know how to win. For this to happen after 12 0 is really sad. <laughs> I just, I just beat Crip. He's so happy to. Disgusts me. This happiness. Kill it. Well, someone else will kill it. That guy sucks. There's no way he's doing well in this arena run with that slow deck. Do you guys want to know how to balance Corridor Creeper? I have a genius solution. Are you ready? Just make it a fucking warrior card. Done. They still won't play it right now. And when Pirate Warrior is out, they definitely won't play it. Fucking peace out, Corridor Creeper. The vegan balance is right. Tell me you're not impressed. Tell me. Basically, I have to pretend I have nothing for a few turns, bounce a big board, and hope. I mean, it's it's all bad, guys. Like, it's it's just all bad. It's all just a fucking disaster in this game. We're just trying to stay afloat, and we're like barely doing that. Never mind. Fuck you guys. And he has two cards. Rest recruits. Wait for it. Only two cards, guys. Fucking great. <laughs> two and two, guys. Jesus. This is absolute bullshit. <laughs> Come on! Now you top deck that. Top fucking deck, dude. I basically need to create bait in order to draw Potion of Madness at some point. It's probably a bad deck with crazy high rolls. Really? Seems like a really good deck. What's bad about his deck? That guy's deck is really good. Yeah, fuck playing priest. It might be the best class at a peak, but it's so fucking inconsistent. It's rage inducing just like Hunter. Okay, rip five health. Oh my god, crip, my grandma could come up with a better order than that. I know, guys, I know. I suck at this game. Thanks. Please subscribe. Thank you. Alright, it's not the worst thing ever. The worst thing would have been Patient Assassin. That's like tied for the second worst thing, though. <laughs> Quiplash! 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 I just got black knighted. I just got black knighted. I feel empty inside right now. I am done. Can I just like get a black knight please? Like, like that would be pretty fair I think. Oh, top deck death. That's, that's cool. Wow. Man, never lucky hit really fucking hard tonight guys. Streams lagging? Yeah, I don't know. Every time some bullshit happens, fucking Ben Brode is like spinning the Hearthstone Matrix to make it happen. Okay? 
You know why? Because they got their like esports tournament or some shit going on right now. So they're like, Crip is stealing views, bro. Get on it. And then bro, he puts on his flannel jacket, tightens it, real tight. And that's why it's lagging. He can manipulate Hearthstone RNG and draws with his mind from anywhere. Alright. Oh, Hearthstone crashed upon closing. Wow, that's new. Never had that happen before. Alright. Is this game surviving another expansion? I don't know, people keep telling me rank mode is, like, a complete disaster. The other parts of the game are pretty good, and I think, more than anything, the systems they have in place to not let disasters happen are the important ones that they fixed in this last expansion. So, yeah. Um, with the automatic algorithmic balance changes in the offering and drafts, I think Arena cannot be too horrible moving forward. And that's amazing. Uh, I think as long as they update Dungeon Run, the free-to-play experience will be tolerable. 71.7, holy crap. That's ridiculously high. This guy's had some crazy fucking cards consecutively to stay in this game. Are you fucking joking, dude? What the fuck? I'm literally losing to drooling noob right now. What? Can you guys believe this is Arena? I can't. This has a massive occurrence penalty. He's played two of them in half his deck. What the fuck? I could never dream of drafting a deck like that. Well, there's so many cards, it, there, there's a spell occurrence boost, there's an expansion occurrence boost, both those exclude that card. That card helps you win a lot, so it's probably even further than 50% penalty. Getting two in the same deck is so rare. And he, he only drew half his deck. Like, getting two is probably close to getting like seven flame strikes back in Classic. Which I did get, so it happens. But fuck me, at 0-0, zero, zero, that's some bullshit, dude. That is some serious bullshit. Fuck you. 12-0 starts somewhere? Yeah. Most of the time against me. I know. <laughs> Sniping? No, this guy's just really bad. What a fucking troll. Top fucking deck, dude. Blizzard makes really good games, but mobile's totally different. And with Hearthstone, the, come on, this is this is just ass. Come on, dude, give me some RNG here. Can I stop getting fucked on RNG? I, mean, I don't want to get salty and stuff, but Jesus, dude. You want to give him another answer? Give him like a primordial Drake or something? No, there he goes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go 0-2. This guy's deck is really good, but he's a really bad player. But it's not hard to play top decks when they are really, really good. Oh, another free from Amber. Oh, great. Great. Minion I probably will never kill. That's great. Oh, right. Yeah, I just get so depressed when this happens. It's insane tier decks. It's not like I can ever win the board. I mean, I, it's not like I can ever win the game when that thing is on the board. Oh, great. It's a really good answer. Oh, great. Another really good answer. What is that? Really good answer number nine in this game or some shit? Oh, I, I can't win. This guy's garbage, but I can't win against a player who's this monumentally lucky to have all these answers and to get them exactly when he needs them. Turn after turn after turn after turn after turn. Like, I, th I think he has a mind control. 
He's just like counting. Is he to have 10 mana crystals? I don't know. It says 10 out of 10. Spirit Lash. Okay. That was like a fucking 80 point freeze thing. I know how he lost. He's garbage. I played a Doomsayer and he attacked at the 4 HP and then let it kill all his minions. So, trash player. But when you get that lucky and have every perfect answer, you can't lose. Fuck, that feels so bad. There's nothing to experiment. Like, the games where everything you play gets perfect answered like 12 fucking turns in a row, that's at 10 0. That only happens at 0 1 if, you, if you're like getting struck by fucking lightning. <laughs> But where I live, it's a fucking lightning storm inside my house 24-7. I don't know, I can't explain it. Like, I just think of it from my position. When have I ever had, like, an 80-point fucking deck queued up at 0-1 and had, like, 12 perfect consecutive answers? That's... I don't know if that's ever happened. But against me? Jesus, dude. It happens, like, twice a week. Fuck. Can I please just get a little fucking lucky? Just a little bit. Just like, just a little bit. Just give me something. How can I have shittier luck than my opponent for the last like 25 turns that I've played this game? Turns out if you get lucky while you get lucky after getting lucky and then getting lucky for the fourth time in a row, you win at Hearthstone. Of course. Of course he has that. Make that 26 consecutive turns. Here's another one. I know you guys are like watching me play, thinking I'm making decisions. I'm not. These games play themselves. Zero two priest deck, guys. It really resembles it, right? God, it's so fucking hard to, to experiment in arena. Created by shifting shade. Three mana, five, five. Dragon Slayer, guys. Dragon Slayer. That was the luckiest shit you could possibly have there. I'm still getting countered, man. Come on. This is so ridiculous. I just want to play with, like, not rogue and mage and, like, top classes that are kind of immune to this bullshit. But holy crap, is it so hard sometimes. I don't think I'm ever going to get a better Doomsayer turn. I think I'm going to go 0-3 again. Wow, that's such a bad play. Maybe for the first time in a long time, a bad play will cost him. One can dream, right? I only have one battle cry left in the deck. I have cards that give me health and I have the board, so I really there we go. There there's another one. again. Zero three again. Yeah. It's like the third time this expansion. My average in arena has been actually pretty good, but I don't know. I feel my deck was actually pretty good. I feel like I played those matches pretty well. I feel like, again, getting struck by lightning. 
turn after turn after turn after turn. My opponent had the exact card he needed. And you saw what I had. Absolutely fucking nothing. Turn after turn after turn after turn. Priest has a really tough time coming back on the board when it's losing. I feel like if I just healed or taunted there a little bit, it was over. Priest has very little burst. The card that he played was really bad. That card is one of the worst cards in the game. But, in a game like that, it couldn't have been any better. All his bad cards were perfect. All his good cards were perfect. I just had nothing. That was the game. I think, yeah. Theoretically, the suffering is supposed to be worth it. Have I not gone through enough in this in this night of arena? What what have I done? Getting wrecked again. Can't do fucking anything. Have I have I run over like a thousand kittens like on my way to school without noticing or something? Like what? What the hell is going on right now? He's got three one drop spells. Four. This is off two original spells. Five. Six. Six spells. Off an original two. Wow. Down here, this is a way of life. Check it, check it, check it. <laughs> Obviously, the environment down here is all soft. The, the ceiling's soft, the floor is soft, the walls are soft, and to an extent, the air is soft. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. What do I think about the salt videos on YouTube? Oh, they're kind of inevitable. Yeah, huh? Uh huh. Can I please just get a little fucking lucky? Of course, right away. Just a little bit. Just like, just a little bit. Just give me something. <sighs> Top deck mind control on turn 10. After all of the other bullshit that we just saw. Top fucking deck, dude. Top deck mind control on turn 10. After all that. Like, my RNG this game has been, what, like, pretty average, like a 4. His has been a 10. It's 10 out of 10. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, that's it. Stop, take that. Nice. I just, I just beat Crip. By the way, I, I'm, I'm running a, a card tracker, okay? His hand right now is M and 1. Cardi mulliganed, and Cardi drawn his first turn. He's played his top deck every single turn for 11 straight turns. Remember when I top deck like three times in a row and you guys go ape shit because I didn't like sign a fucking contract that I got lucky and made it public? I don't think that's ever happened to me. Like, I, I don't think I've played my draw in the perfect scenario every single turn, to, like, 11 or 12 turns in a row. It's just it's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. I'm just saying it because, like, this kind of shit just happened yesterday, and people were blaming my draft. Do you know why I lost that last game? Because I didn't draft the right cards. Why are all these priests going face, dude? What the hell? 
I'm so confused. Fuck, dude, give me a fucking break here. As weird as that might, oh, he does have mind control. Look at that. Top deck mind control on turn 10. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is this? Dude, two dragon fire potions and barely half the deck. Mind control, crazy synergy, legendaries. Two and one. Two and one, guys. I don't have anything close to that. Fuck you guys. He played a Leyline Spider before I did. He didn't play the card that puts three in his deck. I didn't even draw one properly. I had to fish it out. Okay, like... This game has been nothing but bull. No taunt. I just... I just want, like, reasonably even RNG. Like, it, it doesn't have to be even. Like, I can get unlucky, but, like... This is, like, 2 RNG versus 10 RNG, and I can't do anything. It's so frustrating. And my opponent has perfect answer after perfect answer after perfect answer after really good RNG after perfect answer after perfect answer. Like, that guy's deck was god tier. His RNG was ridiculous. Can we get... Can we get Ben Broad on the line? I don't know. Can't do anything. Yeah, I know people watch the stream for five minutes and then like, oh my god, Crip, you must you must just not be very good at this game anymore. Well, I got seven win average last month in Arena, despite going 0-3 three, three times. So I'm pretty proud of that actually. Yeah, I, whenever I do a full day of arena, I play with delay. I try to mix it up a little bit. Sometimes a bit shorter, sometimes a bit longer. I'm also a pure offline, so I'm doing my best to avoid snipers. But it didn't work yesterday. About one third of my opponents were known snipers. A third. Yeah. I'm gonna take my chances against Pyroblast. How do they always have everything? That was a perfect mirror entity. It would have sucked on every other turn. He had the board clear. He had the freeze with the RNG. This is so frustrating. I can't go a single game without getting every single thing I play countered. Can't do it. The last time I won a game because I was luckier than my opponent was last week. <laughs> <laughs> of course! Of course he got that. I've played three priests. I've used my flame strike one time. I've been flame striked three times. So far. Oh, come on! Four consecutive priests, and this one is a sniper, and I'm a peer offline with considerable delay. What am I supposed to do to have a decent experience in this game? Seriously, what am I supposed to do? I think this guy's played his second or third active Draconoid operative. Oh, no, I didn't want to just start. Yeah, this guy's deck's fucking insane. I probably can't win. Mage going second against the crazy priest deck, who at least knows your deck list. Is... I'm in bad shape here. He's literally roping every turn. I don't think he's doing it intentionally. I think he actually is pretty clueless. Probably getting advice from the rest of the sniper guild right now. That's a problem. Oh, wow. What the fuck is that? All right, guys, PG-13, PG-13 stream now. I'm gonna try to correct this pornography Minesweeper game. I believe he's played his fifth active Hold the Dragon Dragon. He has 16 cards left in his deck currently. The people who snipe me in the Sniper Guild, they don't play with like average decks. It's not like, oh, I got a deck, let me find Crip. 
They only play me if they know they can win. He top deck Primordial Drake. Dragon number 10, roughly. Priest deck with 10 dragons and only premium quality cards at 2 and 1. Sounds fair, right? That sounds real fair. Another free from Amber with the Grand Archivist. This guy's deck is unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. Top deck Shadowward Pain. Another legendary. I think this guy has the best deck I've ever seen in Arena by far. This has got to be over 80 points. That's the fourth Draconoid operative that started in his deck. The fourth one. Just so we're clear. This is the 13th dragon or something, and the fourth Draconoid operative he played. All right, let me bring out the spreadsheet here. That marks 17 times I've beat Crip. Oh, better luck next time. Yeah, I was. I think that was the best luck I've ever seen. So I got uh, my fourth Priest game in four matches. Garbage luck in all four of them. And the last one sniped by the best deck I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not digging. I'm not digging Arena right now. I mean, I know Arena's good, but this is not, this is not anything close to normal. Never drafted that card. My assaulty person, mostly when I play this. You're so sick of watching me suffer. Dude, there's some bullshit going on recently. Oh, kill command? Oh, just arcane shot. Well, that's what it is, guys. I had a shitload of answers, but drew none of the ones I needed when I needed them. Unlike my opponent. Again. I, I honestly don't think I could have done anything else there. What could I have done? Draw Potion of Madness, that would have been nice. Draw Shadow Madness, that would have been nice. Draw a minion to play proactively before he played three mana four fours. That would have been nice. No. No. I've never seen that complete. Zero one, guys. Zero one. We got Crypt's juicy bullshit. Nine cards again. Nine cards. There's definitely something fucked up with Arena right now. Excuse me. You are... Oh, more synergy. Okay. This is actually one of the best mage decks we've seen so far. Oh, more elementals with more synergy, guys. That's... That's great. That's what we need. More elementals. Life gain. It's probably gonna have a shitload of secrets with my luck. Oh, just one. Okay. More elementals with synergy for big spells. Okay. More elementals. Yep. Another lucky as fuck mage. Let's hope he doesn't have uh, more removal. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. The best removal. I'm just gonna play this out because maybe. In the next four turns or so, we'll see him have a card that isn't really good in his deck. He has more removal. I guess that could just be the one fireball. How did he lose with that deck? I don't know. I don't know. That's been my experience all the last two weeks. The craziest fucking decks absolutely everywhere. Zero one, zero two, one and two, one and one, doesn't matter. The craziest decks. It's as if there is no matchmaking right now. That's that's basically been my experience.
probably my best priest deck this expansion. It would also be the fifth time I went 0-3 if it happens. Every single time I went 0-3, I played against crazy decks at 0-0, 0-1, and 0-2. Which has so far been very consistent with this experience. Um, before this expansion, I think it was about two years that I didn't go 0-3. But in a month and a half, I've done it four times. With pretty good decks. It's just, it feels like matchmaking is totally screwed up or something, I don't know. Gonna try Warlock some more? No, it said I'd try Priest some more. Are you fucking joking? Wow, that's fucked. Yeah. I think I'd probably lose now unless I draw a nice minion, which I don't have that many of. But seriously though, is does this really resemble a two and two game? Like the winner of with the winner of this might have an average result. The winner. The loser a below average result. Right? Like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> oh shit, he discarded that as the other minion. Damn, well that's one hell of a 50-50 to win. Yeah, he's not playing a single small minion right now. Oh. And it's gone. And I probably lose now. How is this real? I had 50% chance to win on the Dinomancer crap. But seriously, how is that real? That was a 2-2 two and two game. This is absolutely ridiculous. The frequency at which this is happening is not the normal game. It's just not. If you die in Romania, do you die in real life? I'm pretty sure you do, yes. That happens, huh? Oh. Oh, okay. Dude, this guy... This guy must have played with too many fidget spinners to make that play. What did I have to do? <laughs> okay, I'm out, dude. I'm out of here. Go on and play. Ancient of War top deck. That's about as good as Candle Shot. Top fucking deck, dude. It's roughly as good, guys. Roughly as good. No, he had 100% answers into like minions that are difficult to deal with, into massive taunts. Like, this is just straight bullshit. I can't win that. Alright, let me bring up the spreadsheet here. That marks 17 times I've beat Crip. Oh, better luck next time. Oh, Mirror going second. Wonderful. Guess my chance to win is like 30%. Hunter's just a naturally salty inducing like, fucking class. Hunter's the worst class ever designed. It's a really good play. At 2-2 two and two from a good Hunter deck. Welcome to fucking arena. Oh god. 
Yeah, that's a ridiculous 2-2 two two game, dude. That guy's deck was crazy. His luck was pretty good. He played very well. And he went 2-3. and three. Man. Let's see if that holds. 5-2 and two mage. Huh. Yeah, of course. Oh! Forgot about that. I was gonna bluff explosive. Crazy ass decks, guys. Absolutely everywhere. Yeah, that was. You sold that kiddie pool we bought for apples in? I think so, yeah. Good, then we just need salt. Lots of it. How much is lots? 1,500 pounds. Well, where are we gonna get that much salt? No, no. I got crazy fucking unlucky that game, dude. Like, everything I did got punished. Down here, Fish salt is a day. way of life. Check it, check it, check it. <laughs> Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. Face, face, really good cards that win more. Yep. Just can't do anything. Like, go first, crazy fucking curve with weapons, with taunts, with win more cards. Just can't do anything. Every single card in his hand was a perfect curve card or a perfect removal answer to what I played. Every single card. That was it. And my opponent has perfect answer after perfect answer after perfect answer after really good RNG after perfect answer after perfect answer. Oh, he's got vile. Yep. Yep. Well, Spine Slayer, boys. Do you guys know how much Rogue I've played this week and last week? I've played like a dozen Rogue decks. Do you know how many Vile Spine Slayers I've drafted across all of those decks? I think you know. Just from the tone of my voice, I think you know. Yeah, it's a fucking zero. <laughs> I haven't drafted any. <laughs> Oh, Cold Blood Top Deck! Woo! So fucking ridiculous. Top fucking. Can we get Ben Brode on the line? Fuck you. <laughs> let's recap. This deck has, let's say, four weapons, just like that Hunter deck. I drew three out of the four weapons in every game where I drew a weapon. In the games I didn't draw a weapon, I didn't get any. I played the guy that spawns spiders about seven times. I got spiders once and then lost the next turn. I played against significantly higher rated decks. Didn't really get lucky at any point whatsoever. You know me. Always so fucking lucky. God, what a fucking shit show. Top deck to file. Top fucking deck, dude. Because that other shit was just not enough. Another one. This is so bullshit, dude. You see how we're strongly playing around Unleash the Hounds only when we have it in hand. But before that, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. We play it. We play around Unleash the Hounds only when it's drawn, guys. That's, that's when. So yeah, that was probably some sniping asshole who saved his crazy ass warlock deck to just crush a hunter. Nice. I didn't think he was sniping, but that unleash play is just total bullshit. I guess he also didn't play around crushing walls, but I mean, I've slipped that up too. That, that doesn't mean much. He, he's playing around nothing else. Like, nothing else. He's playing around only Unleash the Hounds there.
Yeah. I just I just beat Crips juicy butthole. Nah, it's just a really fucking good priest deck and uh pretty good draw luck when he needed it. That's about it. Number of bad priest decks I've played against in this expansion, zero. Number of bad priest decks I've drafted, eight. Number of priest decks drafted, eight. I'm still waiting on picking priest. I've said that for two days now, but I haven't been offered priest. Priest going second. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? That one? What the fuck? That was the luckiest shit you could possibly have there. Remember what I said about Potion of Madness? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. How is this happening? The last time I played a priest who didn't potion or shadow madness me, it was actually 2017. How is this happening? All right, give, give me a priest. Give me a priest. Give me a priest deck. Let's let's see if I can roll it like that. I think I've played like 30 priests, and I've never played one that didn't have one of the Potion of Madness. Or Shadow Madness. I really think I've never played one. This year. Fuck. The yeah, has gone first with really good card quality again. It's just tough to beat that. Fuck. Yeah, Abyssal is crazy. That card is one of the rarest commons in the game. Siphon Soul top deck. He has to trade. The only way he doesn't trade is if he's sniping. Oh my fucking god, really? I think my win rate at 0, zero is about 30% this month, by the way. I've won nearly zero of the games. And that's another one. Crazy fucking Warlock deck. With answers just when he needs them, once again. Second against Shaman. Even Volcano is pretty low tempo. Great. A few moments later. How do they have it? How do they always have the cards that they need in their deck and in their hand and when they need them? He needed two volcanoes and half his deck to win. Along with a really crazy curve and high card quality leading up to it. Bone Mare, why not? Off the top. So ridiculous. I guess 2 and 1 is basically 11 and 1 these days. So. Yep. That was probably a better shaman deck than we've ever had this expansion. I know I haven't played that many shamans, but still. Crazy card quality, crazy luck again. We make fun of Karazhan because it was clearly just whipped up. It's like 
Oh, oh, oh shit, it's fucking April. We need an expansion. We got three days. Can you come up with something, Ben Broad? I'm fucking on it. And then it's just like, shit's out fucking cares. Yeah, that's basically it. That's, yeah. Like, there was like no thought behind the cards, the rarity they assigned to the cards. There was like, like the some of the adventures they were they were cool thematically, but balance wise it was trash. It was the the most unbalanced. It just they they didn't they, there was no review. Like anyone who played Karazhan once would tell you like there's this this and this is wrong. It's just wrong. You can't have a heroic boss that its only ability is having ten more hit points than the normal version of the boss, which is painfully easy. There's nothing heroic about that, right? This is just like whipped it up out of, out of like I don't know. It felt extremely rushed. Um, I don't think there's been any expansion that has come even close to how rushed Karazhan was. It, like it wasn't it wasn't close to anything. Like the next most rushed expansion. Fuck if I know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. In terms of like unpolished garbage, Karazhan is like a ten out of ten. And, like, the next most unpolished expansion might be, like, the Grand Tournament, which is, like, a 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10. Like, the mechanics didn't work out. They weren't powerful enough, but the cards are pretty cool. I guess. Underpaid intern here. I made Karazhan, then got fired by Broad. Now I'm unemployed. And you're shitting on my legacy. <laughs> well, get fucked. Alright. Four minions. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just I just beat Crip. Yeah, this is what happens when you get a win more card with an end of turn effect. So fucking stupid. Jesus <laughs> fuck. Holy shit, dude. Can I stop getting fucked on Salt. Salt me up. What an insane hand. What the fuck? Are you serious? Am I dead? No, it's one off lethal. Oh. Did I miss Calc? And El Crypt just shit on a stick. Fuck you. I guess I did. That's why you play aggro slash tempo a hundred percent of the time. You have to be fucking kidding. <laughs> I missed it too much. Fucking light bomb. What? Oh my fucking god, are you serious, dude? Not the 4 1. Okay, that's fine. Fine ish. I mean, now I lose that. That's kind of bad, but whatever. But it's good. Come on, dude! Give me some RNG here. How is this guy three and two? He's got like a greedy control deck with multiple light bombs. I'm going to fatigue pretty soon. Turns out two light bombs is a little nuts. Seriously, how do you get two light bombs in wild arena? Do you guys know how big the sets are? They're fucking ridiculous. Jeez. <laughs> Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. How the 
fuck is this three and two? Three and two, my fucking ass, dude. This thing just kills a Void Lord every single turn. I can't win. Yeah, I didn't play that that well, but... Like, <laughs> give me a break. I think everyone's drafting absolutely insane aggro decks. So... People who have, like, the craziest fucking decks, like that guy, still manage to lose twice in five, five games. Gets the best of me again. Oh, another top deck. <laughs> that was absurd. I think in Arena I've lost the last three times my opponent played Renounce. But of course we know Renounce is shit. I'm just, you know... Cruising on that never lucky thing. Let's negotiate. You can see and I'll let you live. This deck is fucking stupid. I don't understand this guy is lost. Oh, another insane card. Bullshit game. Bullshit decks, bullshit RNG. Yeah, it's again, that guy's deck was absolutely ridiculous. I shouldn't be playing him at 1 1, especially with this many people playing. I'm gonna go 1 and 3 with a really good deck. Unbelievable amount of answers to my none. Like nine, no, ten, three, three summons. Just can't do it. He outdrew the early game, even though my deck is entirely early game. He outdrew the mid range because he had a really broken card. And he outdrew the late game, even though he went second. Like, that's mind blowing. Played more stats going second in the early game, the mid game, and the late game. Oh, great, more poisonous. Oh, it's a full fledged control hunter. Look at that. Like, this is bullshit, dude. This is straight up bullshit. Should never play against that at 2 and 2. That guy's deck is unbelievably good. Played well. Two and two. Give me a break. Zero gold. Oh, I like Tridstone. I like, uh... I like moments where I get lucky. Uh, I like moments where my play is matter and actually uh, change the outcome of the game. I've actually liked my constructed experience because I played a lot of combo decks where that actually is the case. Uh, Standard Arena does have quite a bit of that, but Wild Arena does not. I think I can race him. 
Oh, is it double fireball? So you tell me, how about that game? Did I not draft enough early game? I have to play aggro. And aggro is extreme RNG in Hearthstone. In ranked, it kind of passes off because you get fast games. And if you play well, you can get that extra like 3% win rate. And because the games are fast, you can make it work with like a 53% win rate or whatever. In arena, you can't. 53% win rate in arena means you go 3-3 three and three and you can't play arena anymore. Yeah. I'm... I'm... Top deck, four mana, nine, nine. Top fucking deck, dude. That... That had to have been the best draw in the whole deck. Well, he's top decking, and I have potentially a brawl, so... <sighs> well played, guys. Yes, it's the plays. The plays, guys. Such plays. So amazing. Can you guys believe this is arena? I can't. Fucking ridiculous. Another cog hammer. Crazy aggro. Call to arms, double cog hammer, Tyrion. That's bullshit. Bullshit decks, bullshit RNG. Total fucking bullshit. It's literally constructed. Double cog hammer, like, that's. Like, I've played so many Paladins, cog hammer's been one of the rarest cards. Okay, that's the next worst card ever to play, so that's good. Just, please, no, please just do damage to your- Oh, come on, I can't- what the fuck? Really? 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 He just- he gained 21 HP. Getting wrecked again. Can't do fucking anything. There you go, guys. The worse you play, the luckier you get. Constructed? No, dude. This deck is better than constructed. How is this fucking arena right now? Literally, just like crazy card quality going face constantly. It can't be punished, basically. Play better. Oh yeah, he matched up a two mana minion with two mana, a three mana minion with three mana, four mana minion with four mana. Got really lucky with the charge effect. Got really lucky because he went first with all of that. <laughs> and he's winning by a landslide. Or a flame strike. The? I just I just beat Crip. I guess that's a hundred percent. The mage just had flame strike against me now. Oh, yeah. It's just gonna have to be the way it is for now. And I'll review the stream. This is such bullshit. Of consecration. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> okay. This game is literally draft a better deck than your opponent and play every card on curve and go face. I have experienced nothing else. Nope. 
so fucking sad. I mean, six wins is decent, but honestly, every single opponent played exactly the same way. There's, there's almost nothing to do here. You basically try to get tempo cards, and you try to get a few greedy cards, and you hope to get your tempo cards, you hope to go first, you hope to get your counters, and you hope you draw your late game into late game. You can't have too much late game, because you lose. You can't have too much early game, because you lose. And it's all just a fucking crapshoot. Random. Random, guys. It was random. Just randomed all over me there. But you see all the movies. Okay, this is get this is getting a little bit ridiculous here. He just top decks the largest taunt in his deck. It's like, eh, okay. You would have thrown your PC out the window by now. Wait, you don't like getting one out of three YOLO'd into two Abyssal Enforcers in three turns, which is one of the rarest cards in Arena? Into constant top decks, into taunt right before he was about to die. You didn't like that? No? Wow. Bro, you're playing the wrong game, because that, that's what this game is all about. It's about getting absolutely fucked. This is it. There you go. <laughs> wow. Pretty fucking good. Well, this weapon card is really good. It's just a very bad tempo card, but... He had a 1 mana 4-4 four, four, and a 4 mana 7-7, seven, seven. and then when I caught up I got Volcano, so he had absolutely crazy card quality in order to make that work. As a result of which, rip me. Alright, let me bring out the spreadsheet here. That marks 17 times I've beat Crip. Oh, better luck next time. What is this? This is called Crip Arena, guys. Not something you want to experience in your life ever. Okay. Yeah, uh, Lost versus Mist Caller. You guys remember Mist Caller? No, you don't. Think of Kelaseth, except six mana. People literally thought it was the single best card in Old Gods. They're like, oh my god, that card is so crazy. I'm like, guys, this card is absolute trash. I believe it was number one rated card, right? In that set. Number one by the uh, Reddit community. Oh, Grand Tournament, whatever. Alright. Okay, yeah, we can... We could do this. We could lose two games real quick and pretend like we tried. <laughs> this is a 68.8 .8 scoring deck. It's actually better than the last one, believe it or not. I think this is just gonna be a slow loss. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, I'm done, dude. I'm not gonna be able to push for any more damage. He's got card advantage, he's got board, he's got the tempo from going first. This game is over. I think I may be able to win that one if I went first, but uh, going second, that was terrible. Zero three police, yes. I know I come off as a paranoid asshole, 
um, you know, when I'm talking about, you know, my opponent being snipers and all that, and, you know, I'm losing the game, must be a sniper, I know. Well, you damn right I'm paranoid. This type of shit is actually going on, right? It's crazy. No Takarina? What do you mean? I'm here. I can't say very much anyway. Sniper guild bullshit, so. Second the quality, guys. Second the quality. Yeah, it's just assholes with pre patch decks with nothing better to do for weeks on end. Better attack, I got Lightning Storm. Amateur. <laughs> I have a knack for getting really unlucky in these sniper matches, so I'm not going to shit talk him, but... That was some pretty weak sauce sniping, I would say. Oh, he got Tarm off the, uh... As I was saying. That guy's deck is really good. Card's 50% chance to give you a Sunkeeper, 50% Tarum. Ridiculous top deck. Top fucking deck, dude. I don't even have enough cards in my deck. This guy's deck is just god tier. Such horrible plays. You never take five damage there. Just blatant sniping. Well played. Put your face in the light. Average deck, right? Two equalities, consecration, multiple weapons, insane taunts, multiple legendaries. Typical. And he's so happy. Actual human garbage. There you go, guys. There you go. He's probably been waiting with that deck for a week now. I thought since I was just like my first day trying to learn arena, I wouldn't get sniped by these assholes, but I should have known better. Nah, these guys snipe me pretty regularly. I'm sure that guy sniped me like 20 times by now, and he's beat me at least half of those. I mean, yeah, their win rate is pretty good against me. My average win rate in Arena is like 70, I don't know, 72, 73. And against Snipers is like 50%. Which is honestly really sad for them, but it obviously crushes my Arena average. I mean... When you only play someone with a deck you know is much better or counters theirs, and you know their hand and plays and potential outs at all times, you really have to suck to lose. I mean, really. It's... it's fascinating. Okay. Zero two drops. That's fine. Most of the time. Disaster. Swarm of one health, one drops. Against the only play that I could make, a poisonous weapon. Unfucking lucky. It's 
you get for not contesting the early game. Nah, usually you need a bit of a greedier deck than you guys are saying. Play something... Oh, it's small. Oh, fuck. I was thinking that would be the 8-3 mode next turn. Great. Just face, face, face. Matt won, right? I'm basically dead. There's nothing I can do now. Could go zero three, just another aggressive deck and give me another shit hand. Yeah. Premium five drop. Fuck. All right, streams over, guys. Bye. Literally just playing aggro with a ridiculous curve going first. Gonna lose, I think. You just need him to drop the curve a bit. You need him to like tap or something. Just like him going first and playing premium cards constantly with full mana saturations. Kind of a fuck up here. Nope! 100% mana saturation plays four minions. Okay. It's a decent drop. Win more card. Oh god. This thing's alive five turns. The Dreadlord four turns. Second turn for the Blood Imp. Probably gonna be a long time until I can deal with that. That's a misplay. Gets lucky. Swarms the board again. Goes face as much as possible again. Wow, that was a really good one drops. That's an insane one drop. I think going second in this game cost me like 20 fucking health. Top deck bone mare, zero three. It sucked. Yeah. Not much of a surprise. Just very unlucky. Mm. Honestly, you guys are saying I always go 0 3 if I don't get 1 drops and 2 drops. How about this? Go to my Hearth Arena profile and go see Rogue in the last month. Let's see, let's see what average it had. All right, let's see here. We'll include that run, which is gonna tank the average, by the way, because I haven't played that much. Eight runs, 6.25 average. It's pretty good, All right? It's pretty good. I drafted all of those decks like that. Let's see here. Including 12 wins with the lowest scoring deck I've ever had which was a 61-point rogue. That's how you draft. If you draft that way and get really unlucky and don't get any 3-drops or 4-drops that are relevant to the board, and your opponent swarms you down and counters everything that you do and you don't get a single good answer against win more cards, you're gonna lose. It doesn't happen very often, but it's Hearthstone. It happens. And sometimes it happens 3 times in a row. Um, I mean, the arena meta might just be all aggro now, so yeah, it could have been a mistake. But, like, I don't know. No one knows anything for sure right now in arena. <sighs> Man, this is such bullshit. Bullshit decks, bullshit RNG. Yeah, last three games, all aggro. This game, all big minions. Can't catch a break. Now it's going all face. 
can't even def Dude, fuck this! How am I getting countered no matter fucking what every single game right now? Like, put my last deck against this one, I'd win. Put my deck against any of my last three, I'd win. Almost 100%. It's just so fucking unlucky right now. It's pyroblast, guys. I just, I just beat Crip. Picture of money, picture of money. Ha! Gotcha! Big McThankies from McSpankies. <laughs> hey, dude, you missed a spot. I got it. Just a little sodium chloride. Actually, dude, it's salt. That's what I said. Sodium chloride. Uh, dude, that would be salt. That's what I said. Sodium chloride. That's what I said. Okay, hi. How's it going? Preparing here, kind of. Expansion hype. I look so fat. Do I? Or, or how about this? How about this? Hold on. Okay. Am I thin now? Am I thin now? No, I'm not. I have no neck when I'm like that. <laughs> Mecha Jaraxxus. Oh, Mecha Jaraxxus, boys! Really? That one. Still fucking Mecha Jaraxxus, alright? I think I always take the file at the start. What is Mecha Jaraxxus when this happened? It happened the instant I gave Blizzard 100 Canadian dollarinos, and Blizzard's like, <laughs> Thanks, dude. Then they gave me that, and promised I would get some packs later on. The worm does have synergy with that. Fine, let's try it. Despicable Dreadlord. Now, now that is synergy with Worgen Abomination. Holy shit. Alright. Time to be annoying. Let's test this shit. Well, I just paid $80 for Mecha Jaraxxus. I'm pretty sure RNG is going to be on my side. Okay, then. That's, that's worth 80 bucks. Oh, I'm untargetable Mecha Jaraxxus now. I'm also silenced or something. What do you guys think? Error, error for life? That's what I'm thinking. Fine, let's just... Let's just sacrifice here. Air, air, get ready to be hacked, noob. I know, right? New hero? Yes, air, air! 80 bucks, boys! Air, air! They up the price of the expansion. No, they just have like two pre-order packs, and the second pre-order pack gives you error, error. Is it worth it? Yes. Well, for me at least. But I spend money like nothing on video games, so. Ho! Oh! And you know me. Always so fucking lucky. It's not luck, it's skill. Because... Shut up. Skill, damn it. The other emotes? They're bad. Error, error, boys! Do you, do you even error? New error meta. Of course. Oh wow, that can actually can actually go pretty badly. A lot of stats. A lot of threatening cards. The one ones are arguably better than the big minion. So I have a 50-50 here. <laughs> Damn it. 
Do you know how I would have won? The bomber didn't nuke me in the face three times. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Am I a salty person? Mostly when I play this. Mm. That's so triggering. <laughs> can you expect, bro? Okay. I'm do this because something bad happens to it. 20% of the time, Bomb will hit it twice and I can Mortal Coil finish. It's not a lot of insurance, but it's some. Um... Mm, looks like it might come in pretty handy. So, outs. Elven Archer, Glacial Shard, Demon Fire, possibly Mad Bomber, Bungal Enchanters, Militias, um, Dark Scale Healer, the Gloom Eater, 10 outs. Okay. Of course. But your world is still Third Lord kills me, dude. Doesn't work. I had to play them in the opposite order, so. Alright, Bomberino. Let's see what you got, I guess, again. How are you so bad? How do you do it, bro? How? I know you hit my opponent in the face like three times last game. But like... <sighs> Do I need a card or do I need a minion? My cards are pretty good right now. Really? Let's see a little bit more tempo. I need, I need, I need salt. Salt. Like two salt cards yeah. in my deck. That's weird. I guess it's a little weird. It's not a lot weird. It's not too bad, honestly. Yeah, draw my ass. I don't think it matters at all. But, I mean, it's not a huge miss there, but... It's not good. Dude, I don't fucking know what's happening, so... Dude, I ain't drunk. Need to chill, okay? If I can get him to run out of cards pretty soon, then it'll be all right. Well, I took care of it. It's just he's at 35 now. I think the card in his hand is a random dragon, so... I don't know. Could be like an insurance death thing, or it could be just some piece of garbage. It's a death thing. Now, please. Oh. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm just gonna lose. I can't deal with it effectively. Snail can, but the snail is nowhere to be seen right now. Yeah, great. Last card, Violet Worm. Jaraxxus is pretty sweet, regardless. It's not? That's okay. There's nothing too wrong with being a pleb and not having Mecha Jaraxxus. Forgive you. Now it's 
Priest really fucking hate that card. I'm keep it. Some head. vegans are potty trained. Nice. Knife jug. Oh. Just don't fucking serenade me. That's not too bad. Oh, someone's fucked. My problem with that is Shadow Madness, and Shadow Madness is just extremely common. And if I lose it, well, I don't have any elementals, and I lose the easy combo activator. It's like a pretty important early game card in my deck. So that's, that's kind of shitty. Yeah, that kind of sucked. But all right. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Nah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Really? Yeah, well, that's obviously a problem. <laughs> Can't do much, not in this game. Sorry, broskies. Nice card. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Enjoyed the stream. Been a bit mellow today. Maybe tomorrow, get some rest. And uh, we'll see where we end up. Pretty good results in Arena, though. And uh, on the cusp of a pretty interesting expansion. Alright, dudes. Peace out. Thank you guys once again for checking out the stream and watching the Cripperoni. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, how's it going? Got your Crip here tonight. Hope you guys are good. Uh, today I'm going to play some Arena, but um, I'm thinking of not streaming full, full stream. Um, we want to watch the game tomorrow, and it's at like 10 in the morning, and I've never woken up at 10 in the morning, so... No two drops! Really? That's not a two drop. I'll take it anyway. Seriously, dude? Come on! It's like a wasted arena deck. Like, Paladin with zero early game offerings. Top fucking deck, dude. Seriously. I even picked the Glacial Shard. I was on, on the fence about that. Doesn't matter how many points it is. This deck is absolute garbage. I just didn't get any 2-drops. It's not, it's not like I didn't pick them. I just didn't get any. For having that bad options. That's pretty good, actually. Quite good. I'm gonna do that so I can slay three out of four totems. I think France is gonna win the World Cup, but I think it's pretty close still. I'm gonna call it football once and for all. Yeah, I'm not sure we can. Sorry guys, but this is this is just ass. It's my zero zero game, man. Don't be that bad. Fuck. <laughs> this is my zero one game now. Yeah, probably. Just really crazy answers. That's about it. Of course. Please, no one. Oh, okay, that's not a lot better.
perfect answers. And my opponent has perfect answer after perfect answer after perfect answer after really good RNG after perfect answer after perfect answer. 100% boys. Really not a lot to be done. Not dropping the hand. Oh, so I should just play nothing when I have nothing on the board? Nice. Yeah, that's definitely gonna win games. I mean, when your opponent has like four perfect consecutive answers, you literally have to play into the fifth because you have no chance. Yeah, I need like my one decent card, Silver Sword, or maybe an MC Tech or something. That's about it. Nothing else is really gonna do the trick. Another one, boys. Oh, and another one! What's that? Just about half the deck. That was the luckiest shit you could possibly have there. Three hexes, two lightning storms. So he's averaging six hexes, four lightning storms. Nice. Oh, baby, a triple! Oh, yeah! Oh, and he had Fire Elemental, too, as his other card. Oh, and he's not, he's playing around MC. Nice, nice, dude. This is really good. This is really good. I, I give up. Yeah, I'm sure that was a really fair and honest and non-sniped game. I'm sure, guys. It just happens all the time. You had a lock with three siphons, three defiles, and two void lords. Yeah, but that guy only drew half his deck and had three hexes, three lightning storms, and a fire elemental. I'm not counting Earth Elemental that good. That was half the deck. So your shitty ass Warlock deck ain't even close. Not even close to that. Oh, I get sniped all the time. Zero zero is no exception. No one on, please? Yep. Oh, come on. You don't play around MC Tech when you have 10 mana and your opponent has one card left. Sorry. Why would you not play on MC Tech when you have such a huge lead on board? Because it doesn't matter. MC Tech's not going to do it. And then your opponent has MC Tech and gets the best option and you still annihilate him, then you play into MC Tech to play another shit. Alright, can I do anything here? For me, my streaming experience is the worse my deck, the more snipers come out to try to win. Like, damn, this is my chance! Crypt gets worst deck of the week, so it's not just that I have a bad deck, it's that I got a bunch of assholes chasing me everywhere I go. Yeah, it's possible like I wasn't sniping just from the MC Tech play. It's possible. How about everything else? Give me a break. Oh my fucking god, dude. So ridiculous. Top deck, another one! Wow! The battle is over. Fuck you. Like, I could have beat that guy. All I needed to do is not start losing by like half a minion. And then. Buff, 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 buff. Can't possibly win anymore. But he went first. Oh, another shaman! What the fuck? Zero two shaman with classic card back, okay. And I'm going first with a two and a three. Well, it's not getting better than this for me. Nah, shaman's a low wins basically proves the class isn't that good. Shaman is pretty decent. Yeah, shaman is sixth. I mean, it's pretty close to third. Fuck! Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. Nope. Nope. All shit. Okay. Welcome to Bullshit Arena. Like, I started the arena run playing Paladin, being offered, like, one two-drop the entire run. Go up against God Mode Sniper deck. Then get super unlucky against the Shaman, and now get super unlucky again against another Shaman. What the fuck am I supposed to do right now? Holy shit, Salt. What do you expect? This is unbelievable luck right now. <laughs> Can't even kill that. Shaman's just pure win more class. If Shaman gets lucky in the early game, it's almost impossible to win against it. 
I actually think my chance of going 0-3 are in the 60-70% to 70 range. This guy's not even playing that bad. This is like... You can't play the game, sorry. Sincerely Blizzard level of RNG. <laughs> Come on! How is it the worst RNG? <laughs> it's literally the worst. Again and again and again. <laughs> Absolute shit RNG. <sighs> here come the win more cards. I have to take a risk here. If I put a card advantage on me, I have to take a risk that he doesn't have a board clear. This is a pretty stupid risk to take, but... It's the only way I can actually win. Oh, Hex, lol. Oh, Lightning Storm, yay! There we go, the same deck. Same fucking deck, guys. How do we do it? What win more card should we play now? Is it Flame Tongue, or is it another Fungal Mancer, or is it another Bone Mare? Oh no, it's just a Boisterous Bard. Okay, well, that doesn't do too much. Still pretty bad, though. I'm probably gonna need an MC Tech right now. Oh, there it is! Top deck lethal with another win more card. I really don't think I could have changed a single thing about that. That was literally the disaster experience. What could I have done?